So how are you all, and welcome back to more for Trojan on the Black Shadow. And yeah, since that last video, I have gone and done a little bit of tidy up work with our characters. Uh, I've been busy trying to make uh, level 50 equipment for our various characters as well. Some of them have gotten ready, like uh, Ray's got some, Kylie's ready, um, Anne's got some bits and pieces as well. Not everyone does as well. Uh, what I have been looking to also try and do is we've got quite a lot of bangles. Well, I've got a lot of bangle users, but I don't have anything at level 50. So I went and made a load of them. And very fortunately, it all worked out pretty damn well. We got a flame bangle for Irene. We got a flash bangle for Scion. We got a frost bangle for Letton. And we got a storm bangle for um, Bianca. Plus this mud boy bangle, which will eventually go to Anne. These were the first four I made. Very fortuitous. Very fortuitous. One of them that also has got as well, actually, uh, is Elisa here. Uh, I actually started making a couple of blades for her as well. And we got some... I got a decision made later on down the line here. Uh, I've got this here, the Assassin's Indigo one here. You see, gives a significant critical chance. Um, plus 25% on the blade. It's a plus another 6% than what it says there. Which is really, really strong. Or we can go with the limpness blade which gives plus one to overcharge duration does make her a bit slower uh we lose the speed regards we've got a pretty good speed boost on this one so that's got to be sacked off regardless here but uh plus one overdrive never a bad thing at all so good stuff had there anyways uh it's time for us to move on so uh for the first time in the game we are going to be going to do some drilling here i've been kind of curious to see what this is going to look like so it's about time to explore. Reminder, this is the uh, it's the training stuff here. Um, and the way this works is, I think this kind of works as like a bit of an op like a capture the flag sort of game. I don't know how how um, specifically canon this is all going to be, but we'll see. Anyway, so we're going to be playing an occupation battle. This is story mode. We're we'll doing this with the VHPD, uh, who will be our op opposition. We're doing it at the drill hall. Uh, the victory is determined by the first team that defeats all their opponents, uh, occupies all bases, or gains 1,500 points. There are a variety of bases here that we can get hold of as well. Occupation score is one per action time for each base you occupy. Uh, you can occupy a base by using occupation ability at four tiles adjacent. You can't. Act you get a delay once you occupy it, though, so that does um, lengthen you there. And there's four different types of bases. Your domination, which will slow down your opposition. Uh, these are special bases. Um, you got luminosity, which uh, gives some extra information. Benevolence restores health, and protection gives extra blocking due to patience. Also, there's rejoining uh, defeating the people taken out one per time. You can use this ability to get people back in the thing. Let's see what this is like. Oh. Okay, all right then, here we go, look at this. We select the participants. You can choose up to eight characters. You and your opponents will take to... Oh no. You can choose the participant from among the characters shown at the center of the screen. If you don't select a character before time is up, a random character will be selected instead. Are they pulling from the same pool that I am? Oh man. So this character will be shown on the left, and by clicking on the star button, you can change their mastery. Uh, the shield will change their equipment slots. You select two characters among the eight characters first. Well, thank you. I do like this track. We've had this played once or twice before. It's been noted this is very Final Fantasy-like. Uh, I think there's a comment about it. Uh, look up Final Fantasy XIII's Sun Left Waterscape. You won't be disappointed. Alright, so... Um... This would be interesting. Alright, so let's go pick some characters. We're going to take Alvis. And I guess we're going to go and take... Uh... It's got to be. Alright. So their opponent will take their turn after you, selecting three characters. Okay, so they are pulling from their own VHP list. Okay, they're not pulling from us. Makes sense. Cool. So, Jane, a striker, and a suppressor. So, we now we choose three. They choose three. Um, we choose three, and they choose two. I 
like the uh, I like the way that the drafting works. Pretty cool. All right then. Uh, so now that I know that, it's fine. So let's go for Irene. Let's go for Anne, and we will take Bianca. Partially because Elisa and Bianca are not going to be involved in the next uh, video that I do. So let's get in. Some defenders kicking in here. Okay. And last three characters. Uh, let's take... Let's take Scion. Let's go for... Let's go for Letton. And... Do like this music. And we'll go for... Let's go for Rayali. There we go. So we have an advantage in here, obviously. Like, our team's pretty strong here. So uh, we don't expect to lose this one, but later ones could be a difference. So selection of both teams are finished. This is called the normal pick rule, and it's a selection method used for every joint drill against the AI. Uh, in joint drills between players, so you can do this as multiplayer. You can choose between official pick and free picking. Uh, in free pick, you and Pope just choose eight characters and don't worry. It's also a nice way for us to actually play some stages of it out. But if you think back to the uh, couple missions where Giselle was team leading, and it was kind of nice to not, in a way, to have Albus not involved. So it might be cool to do this. And I do want to do more of this as we go. See what else uh, other kind of fun we get ourselves up to. All right. Let's go. Uh, no, don't cancel. I gotta wait. I gotta wait till now. Just the one defender, though, for the opposition. I figured they would have probably take another one of those, but that's okay. Jane, defender, three strikers, three suppressors. A lot of physical combat. Should be fun. It's quite a fascinating mode, this, isn't it? Like, I like that this is included. I think this could be very cool and very interesting. But we'll have to see what comes of this. Again, I expect the first one will be kind of easy. These will rack it up in difficulty as we proceed, I'm sure. Alright, okay. So, bit of a reminder of how this is going to work here. So while waiting, you can check the parameters for the joint drill. You also click on the participants on either side to check out a bit of information about them. There again, scatter at first will be chosen randomly. Uh, after checking all the information, click on the button, all right to begin the drill. So here's our turn order, randomly decided. That is our, uh, our initial turn order, and then our speed will kick in. So we got ourselves a very good roll here. Very, very strong. Can't complain there. It's pretty damn good. So we can look at click on other characters as well, apparently. So we look at things. So here's Jane here, for example. It's kind of cool, actually, to look at their stats so in a bit more detail, actually. Uh, Battens. Of course, the VHBD are, are used kind of basic stuff, but it's very heavily upgraded level-wise. But still, it's kind of fallen behind a little bit, though, I think, from time to time. We've just got a pen striking as well. We need to be careful of the defender, however. These guys are pretty dangerous. And of course, the fact that they offer the um, iron wall uh, and the fact that they give their um, protection to those around the defense cordon. That stuff is uh, not pleasant. Anyways, I think we're good to go here. Let's go kick some ass. On the red team, I so happen to put my characters kind of red. And the blue team, the Wind Wall District SWAT. Alright then, here we go. You can obtain occupation points by occupying bases on the map. You can earn more by occupying more bases. You can see there's some neutral ones dotted around here. Yeah. Oh, and here's our new... Look at this! Isn't this cool? Very cool. Very nice. I like they've got the extra UI in it as well. I think that's really cool. Uh, so that's our current situation. Obviously, we've got the, the team. Uh, we've got our current point incomes. We're getting 0.75 a turn. And we've got to hit 1,500. That's, that's a long way to go. All right. So let's have a look at the map then. Here is the map in wider detail. We don't know a ton, however. So here is the base of Crimson Domination. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so this would gain 200 points if you manage to capture someone's opposing uh, base, uh, the home base, effectively. 
And that's what's giving the minus 25% there. We've got a, a, a faded luminosity. Uh, so this one will give us search area plus 100 points. Uh, if we go a little further across, we've got uh, faded protection, which will give patience. Over here, we've got faded benevolence. Oh, these are faded because of obviously Crimson is our team and Blue is their team. Uh, so that gives healing. Over here is the uh, the opponent's home base. Though I can't look at the blue domination. And there are a couple of these. Ah, oh, these are the regroup points. Okay, very right, cool. Look at all of this, folks. This could be uh, a lot of fun. All right, then. Let's rock and roll. So first thing we want to do is look to get these bases secured. So let's go ahead and do that. We do have probably a movement advantage against our opponents. Uh, Occupy State is granted if you activate uh, an ability at four the four Jasons, Tars adjacent. Uh, we'll Occupy it and we take a time penalty while waiting. A character who's occupying base cannot dodge or block incoming attacks. Oof. The character who's occupying the base cannot take cover. Uh, so you are wide open to stop you just rushing stuff. And if you get hit, the occupation action gets uh, gets halted. That is nasty. All right then. Okay. Let's get uh, Irene over there. Do bear in mind we still get our buffs as well with our um, with our our drink stuff as well. So that's an extra bonus for us there. Didn't know that was actually going to do that, but I guess it makes a uh, degree of sense. <laughs> So obviously, first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and start land grabbing, basically here. I do like the red on the team. I do like it. Uh, now, technically, I would like Irene to get heroing here. I don't think she's gonna be able to solo a base, but I don't know. This is Irene Lion. She can do crazy stuff. Uh, let's get um, let's get Albus over here as well, actually. I guess we Sign did draw a bit short on the go, turn go, order, go. but alas, so that makes more of a difference. You want to like buff your pipe moves immediately. All right, so both teams have scored 33 points so far. So let's get occupying. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to get you on these buffs here. I've got to put these on. Oh yeah, so that's rough. If you're if you're occupying, you cannot do anything and you can't dodge or block stuff. So you've got to be very committed that you're going to be able to take it down. Especially if it's an opposition base. So if we come over here, so we'll see now, yeah. She is, um, as the state is here, uh, occupying. Uh, if you're damaged, the status will be released. No cover, no nothing. Yeah, she's already starting to get her stuff. Very, very good. Don't even get close enough to occupy that base. Yes, I hear you out there. I can't pull all that, can I? Oh, close. I think we'll windwalk you over here. Try and see if we can't find any of them. Oh, hello. There's a striker over there. Not within range, though. I can use eyes and mind on them, however. So let's go ahead and do that and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, suppressor, striker. Loads of strikers here. Don't know where Jane is, which is a little concerning. Jane, of course, definitely their most dangerous member of their team. All right. So that will reveal all of them, as you can see. And we'll just hold for a sec. It's useful ability, don't get me wrong. Mm, I want to try and occupy it while it's neutral, but it's going to prove difficult, I think. Let's go! I also want to know where the heck the rest of their team is. I'm unsure. 
I think Ray will be alright back there. Okay, um... I mean, we can still take cover on it, even okay. if we're not occupying. Should be alright here. Oh, she has heroed. Nice. Oh, she got Wind Veil. That's... That's not right. That's not right. All right, let's go put on the magic armor here. We do need to do this before we move up there because it does consume actions. Uh, and of course, yeah, at least we want to get her up front. Ready to do the damage. Uh, I mean... Might as well, it's just going to buff some people. 6,000 heal. Good grief. Oh, there's Jane. Alright, that, that has been occupied for 100 points. So luminosity means we get a search area on the house. It's not going to find a lot of information for us, unfortunately. There's nothing really anywhere near here, but regardless. Here are, yeah, so here's the regroup points. So as people get defeated, they can re-enter on these positions by the looks of it. Right, here we go then. Oh yeah, I've got to ask loads of combat, so I get accelerated. Good block. Of course, these strikers will are dangerous. They're run. Um, they can return enemy force here. Oof, yeah. Quick shaving. She is gonna go to war with these strikers here. Oh, unlucky. Was he... <laughs> How much damage was that? Oh my god. That was like 13,000 damage. Holy hell. Yeah, just swinging for the fences here. We neutralized their counters as well, which is pretty, pretty juicy. That was a nasty blow. Got this wind whip. I don't know if I've actually used this before. Oh, it pulls them towards you as well. That's good to know. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, they're dead, but hey ho. Well, not dead. So yeah, occupying neutral bases doesn't take too long. It's occupying enemy bases. That's what takes a while. I don't know if Jane is occupying that or not. I don't think so. Iron armored, so we don't use cover. We can't get close enough here. Right, we'll have to just engage. Defenders here as well, so Irene could be in some trouble here. Good opportunity to get Letten around the outside. Good. Right, let's go get ourselves some. Uh, that one. Damn blocks, man. Well, I got one through. <sighs> Big dodge. That would have hit so hard. It's just swinging each other here. Yeah. Still going at each other, oh my god. Coiling fog, been webbed. Look at all this um, debuffing that's going Oh my holy god. What is going to happen with you? Curse of wind. Spider webbing. Bleeding. Infected. Severe bruising. And coiling fog. Man, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty intense. Good dodge. Yeah, that's... That's... That's pretty insane. Man. Uh, I think we can just I mean, this looks good to me. Oof. That's a fun ability, that.
man. So that was, what was that? That was uh, protection. So that has given uh, patience to allies nearby. Very cool. Uh, let's get you accelerated. This takes an action. It is a single action. Let's not worry about that. You be slightly careful. She is, of course, got um stuff going on. Stuff going on. Mm, you know oh, you don't have counter attack, do you? I forgot about that. Mm. All right, let's try and give a hand then. That's a hell of a block from Jane. That's a very impressive block. Right, so it has not been occupied. No chance to do it. Irene, Irene's just going to come here and just um, do the good things. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's so cruel. Absolutely vile stuff, that. Okay. Best condition stuff definitely helps, though. No, no lies about that. So yeah, this first one's going to be pretty, pretty straightforward, but it establishes how this all works, which is good and important, I think. I'm definitely learning how this uh, how this all works. I reckon some of these later on could be pretty tough, though. No doubt about that. I was about to say, you gotta live through that? Uh, wow, I can actually technically make that. 93%! Impressive. Quick shave it. Oh, cough room as well. Didn't even block it. Nasty. Nasty stuff. I mean, this is going to be over here. No, I, I kind of don't want to actually do an action here. So I'm curious to see how the um, how the revival stuff comes. I don't know how that works. So I'm actually what we're going to do. I'm actually going to pass turns here. We're going to let Jane get an action, because this is about learning. Let's pass a couple of actions, see what happens on Jane's. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to see what, how, how, um, how team gets back in. I assume both sides have access to that. Oh no. Oh no. This isn't even this isn't right. There is no justice. Well blood. Good job, Jane. Quick shaving! Oh, I'm neutralizing her counters. It's not even that's not fair though. But good job, Jane. Well played. <laughs> Can I even get her from here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That is all over. Alright, well, we got the basics of how the game, how it all works. That's what's important. <laughs> I get my motivation back. Thanks for that. Alright, we have been victorious. Uh, ah, yes, of course, we were in the midst of a quest, weren't we? With Roberto. Uh, that's the whole reason this all started. Let's go uh, chat with him. Forgot about that. No problem, man. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is the that is the correct reaction to all of that. Very good.
Alright. Um, I would like some criminal information, please. Could be anyone. And now we can access joint drill content freely. Using online mode, you can issue a friendly joint drill to other players in the same server. And yeah, it's something that they haven't had out for too long, so the devs are working on it. Oh, thank you. Cheers, Daniel. Oh, we got the information on Scott! Ha! That's actually pretty important because it's actually not easy to get information on Scott. So that's kind of neat. Out of curiosity, is he maxed out now? Scott's pretty early on the list as well. Yeah, he is. That actually maxed him out. If you come to here, yeah, you've, you've just got to read all missions, but we've now got it all done. Nothing, um, nothing new for us to gain, unfortunately, but uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. By the way, I did do one of the missions, um, the Magenta Street mission with like, Isaac, and running it with everyone at hyper levels to match up with ours. Scott was scary. He was annihilating our team. Very worrying. All right, let's have a look at more of the duelists then. Probably doing it one of these. So we've got a few different things going on now. Um, we have uh, oh, so, so, so we've got. Um, let's have a look. So we have the occupation battle, which we've seen. Uh, there is also dual battles. Um, so, in a dual battle, two teams will battle in a 1v1 format. Uh, so it's basically, instead of it being, um, whatever else. Uh, what's the word I'm going to look for here? Um, instead of it being, like, ob uh, objective-based, it's just a straight fight, I think, is the way this is looking. You can complete the story, dual battle is currently available. You can freely choose your opponents from dual modes like with occupation. Alright then. Uh, first play is chosen randomly. Um, so the winner will maintain... Uh, oh, I see. Okay, so it's through multiple rounds as well. Um, so the winning team has to run with their, their stats as they are. Uh, but their status and SP gauge get reset. The losing team gets to keep their stuff. If a team starts excessive defeats, uh, they will gain the Clutch Hitter status, um, which will give them up to two stacks of that, which will improve them. All right, that's kind of neat. Uh, what else have we got here? Just those two. Okay, then. Well, let's go do a dual battle. This is also against the SWAT team. Sure, what the heck. So, same idea again. Um, 2 3 3 2. So, let's pick a different team. Um, let's go for uh, something a little bit more or less. Um, a little bit un more unusual. Uh, Sarn, man, you want to lead the team? You can lead it. Let's get Lightning Bro and Hijing Bro. I assume we'll see general sort of same things here. Uh, we'll take um, Spray Paint Girl or Sis. We'll take Ice Bro. <laughs> Let's grab Kylie. And then we'll take... Uh, we'll take Giselle. Uh, let's take... Um, and I guess we'll take a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why those are blocking on... Oh! These are... Oh, these are my 2v2s! These are my teams! Oh, Kylie and Giselle are the same team again! That's funny. Ray and Lighten. San and Haiji. I didn't even I didn't realize, yeah, these are the actual 2v2 pairings. San and Haiji against Jane in a defender's gonna be fun. Elisa and Bianca. I didn't realize I was doing that. That's really cool. Alright then, so here we go. So dual battles are proceeding the order in which characters were selected. I know that now. The start of the match turn order is set randomly. All subsequent rounds after the first will begin with the losing team of last match acting first. Okay. So our first match is uh, this. Oh, yeah. I think my controller still plugged in. No, it's just giving me the stack stuff for some reason. I don't know why. All right. So, yeah. First player we chose randomly. Beginning from the following round, the loser of the last match will be the first player. Round one. Fight. <laughs> this is really cool. I, I really think this is really awesome. 
I think this is just a really, it, it, these are really nicely put together. I think they're very, very cool. So in double deal battle, teammate takes out uh, all enemies in a two on two format, will be victorious. So these two have got a lot of work to do. So here's the dual board. So these are current two, and you'll see obviously going back down here, the participants in their queue. Uh, now, do we know much about the map? No, it's pretty big still. We're on the other side here. But obviously we don't know a whole lot about what actually we're going to see here, so... I mean, one thing they could have maybe considered doing is having the dual battle arena be slightly smaller? I don't know, we'll see. Because it's pretty large. I don't know. You got both okay. ways on. Sun is a bit quicker than Haishing, so that is something to bear in mind. Obviously, we want to try and keep our group together. Don't want to get left out here. Um, I don't see anything. Let's just go second. But it's also kind of cool because this is a different kind of fighting, you know. This um, you think back to like the sort of the small scale fights, like the story that are really cool. This is kind of along those lines. Go, go, go! And yeah, we don't know where they are. We have not located them yet. I think they've gone the other side of the train. Let's go find out. haijin has got a lot of protection, so if he takes a bit of... Oh, I saw that. They're over in the grass. What the hell's the defender doing there? Something. Bingo! Oh, Jane. That's a nasty hit. Alright. Now, in theory, Scion should be pretty effective here against this defender. Of course they're going boss fields. Oh, Jane. Oh, Jane. It's highly unfortunate for you, my dear. Come on, Hango Kim. Oh, she's five. Good job. Nope. Good. Double dodge. Okay. We could just flash kicked him. Ah, it's fine. Some Guang Nang. That was, that was, that was brutal. So the defender is down, but notice that he is not yet replaced. It has to be both of them go down, I believe, um, before anything will happen. Red team wins. That's unnecessarily close. So, Haijing and Sion continue. We reset positions. Uh, we start off with the, our um, abilities and our AP meters get reset. Uh, but they will now get buffed with the opposition. So they get a level of uh, clutch hitting. So that'll make them stronger in all forms. It's pretty significant buffs. Like plus 15 speed, attack damage, hit chance, dodging... Yeah, it's not bad. But I think we should probably be fairly, go, go, go. fairly good here. Like our team is 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 far superior to the um, the SWAT here, which is fine. I, it might not be the case in the future we, with either other organizations. We might end up running in with as suppressor over there, striker. Oh, I see. They don't get buffed yet. Interesting. I thought they would have done. Maybe it's consecutive losses. 21,000 damage. My god. Bingo! Bingo! 
That is nasty. Okay, so now we're starting to see it. So yeah, now they've lost two rounds in a row. Now they get the buff. So there's Clutch Hitter there. Um, which means that if you win three in a row, they get two stacks out, which is very significant. Um, and again, the idea is obviously to try and keep the uh, keep the tide sort of balanced, which you know is in is important. Dodge, though, Good job. Wait, you don't have flash kick on you, do you? Oh, you do. It's number four. Oh, I see the defender up to. Oh, the defender iron walled. Huh. He's gone castle in his. Um, has the iron defender. That's the, the, the iron defender? I mean, Gonna kick you in the spleen. Damn it, boss I do love it. Damn. How are you still going, buddy? There we go. KO! Good block. That's too much damage, though, so. That is all over. Red team is your winners. Congratulates himself. Very good. Alright, makes sense. I wonder if putting it onto um it's just it's on normal mode here. Ah, interesting. So it's sort of making them um the thing you notice as well, like, although it's cruel cool difficulty, it's not making them uh like starred or anything like that. So they're not getting much of the benefit of this. Alright then, so that is all done. Um I fancy doing one more, however, so let's go to the drill Let's have a look at this. So, uh, we've got the occupation battle, as well as the dual battle, and that is all that we have here. So, you'll notice now that we have obviously done the story stuff, so we can now go into IF story, or IF stories. Um, so, we will do these against a random team in a random place. Now, we can do this randomly, but let's go and sample and see who we could fight. Ah, uh, the various teams. This is not the police anymore. We have got, we can choose from. We've got the angry balls in the back shoot. Oh, yeah, do notice there's all these maps here. Um, forest uh, management, supply bases. That's kind of nice. I appreciate that. We've got smugglers. We've got the street thugs. We've got the white tigers. The skulls. Spoonists. The dust comp- Oh, man. Uh, contractors. Vendetta and the nine dragons. Oof. Drifter clowns. A random team. All right then. Well, I figure. I do. I'm interested to see what some of these are going to be like. So uh, let's go for the street fergs. Let's see how we go here. So I don't quite know who it's going to comprise of. So let's just go. I guess Albus and Giselle and work it out from here. Who we got? Oh my god. Well, this just got interesting. Uh, I'm going to need Anne. I'm going to need Irene. And I'm probably going to need Kylie's drones. What else we got here? We got Tyron. I don't even know who he is. Yavit and Ivan. Oh, we are so screwed. Uh, Elisa, Bianca, and I think I want hygiene. There's, it's, a, it's all melee here. So, Haijing would be pretty effective. He's got close suppressive fire. And Gary and Isaiah. Oh, man. Okay, we've got a serious fight on our hands here, everyone. Do I get information for these fights? I have no idea. Man, this is going to be tough. 
This is really cool, though, that you get all these things here. You know, Gary and Isaac are the, um, they're the smuggling people. They're the duo, you might remember them, that were working on behalf of the Spoonists. Ivan's uh, is the drone guy. Yavit is the, the thief. Tara and I have no idea who he is. Twinkle Jack was involved with the White Tigers. Pinkhorn um, was it Magenta Street, as was Oliver Black Dog. Oh, man. Level 56, all of them. Holy hell. Right. We might be able to get the absolute piss being out of us here. All right, then. So, how's our turn? It's turn order. It's, it's okay. Not too bad. Elisa has such a big role to play in this, as does Irene. Because, again, this is all melee. Martial artists, white knights, magic knights, robes. So, they're going to have to just hold on for dear life while our range actually tries to do the job here. But this is going to be a lot harder than the first one. We might lose. We might lose. The street thugs. Yes, I do like saying it like that. Okay. Let's have a look at the map here and work out what's going on. Very small map this. We've got Benevolence in the middle, which will give healing. Uh, luminosity on the left side. We'll search. And we've got patience on the right. Four different uh, regroup points, by the way. Which is very interesting to know. Alright. Interesting. So this one's actually up high. You've got to take a ladder to get up there. There is no other way automatically up there. That's really interesting and kind of cool. I like that. These two are on street level. I gotta get hygiene up here, surely. I gotta go and get my shooters up there. It's gonna be difficult. Not at the... Right, Lisa. I think getting on the left side is more important. Let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna be difficult. Level 56. Level 56. What the hell? Alright. Getting a drone up here could be pretty good. Uh, are we able to summon drones? Sure we're able to summon drones here. I don't know how effective they may or may not be. Guess we're going to find out. Uh, Albus. I like the idea of getting Albus alongside here. I think this could be pretty good. The problem is if I get overcommit, if I overcommit, my dudes are going to start getting butchered, and that's that's concerning. Right, I'm going to get Anne over here, and I'm just going to put her on standby. The idea being, I want to take her turn to speed them up, so she'll at first give them a time reduction. Are we trying to understand what the heck our opponents are attempting to do here? Because I don't know. Irene's probably going to have to go centrally here. Um, I think she's going to get her magic armored. And she's going to have to just go to town here. Bianca, it's kind of scary. I think I'm going to keep Bianca here. I think I'm going to largely kind of... I can't go for all three of these. I've got to choose two. So we're going to kind of like speculatively sort of give up on the, 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 the right one. We'll see how this plays out. Let's get you over here so that you can summon a drone. Um, I feel like, uh, uh, man, I think scout drone is fine for the movability. We obviously need to keep it away from them though. They will wreck this thing. Does it put me up at nine? <laughs> it does. How much health? Oh, man. The 
this is all very scary. That's a break in the fence right here. Yeah, it is. I need to keep Anne away from all of this hell. There's Gary over there. Can I constrict them, maybe? Yeah, don't need to worry about getting flanked. They're all melee. Re almost all melee. Okay, I can constrict them good. Let's go ahead and do that. Try and pin them down. Right. Scout drone! Uh, I can't get you up there. It won't let me do it. Huh. That sucks. Twinkle Jack down the back. That oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is so bad. It's a good hit. Ooh, we're getting uh, shadow hit hatchet. That's pretty good. All right then. Let's get Bianca taking this. She's gonna be the best person for this. And that way we can get um, Albus and Lisa providing cover. Looks like they're largely going down that right side, so... <laughs> She's doing her pose. I love it. Oh, kind, of, kind of worried about getting you like all the way in here. She's not here buffed, of course. Nothing I can do about that. But I can get you over here and she can actually act as um, cover here for our allies. As you can see there, acts as uh, full protection, which is pretty sweet. I want to try and get Kylie up here. I might be able to pinch this before they can, because I've got access to... Um, I can ignore the... Uh, yeah, and see here. I might be able to pinch this before they can do anything about it. Should be very significant. Ow. Ow. Nasty. I guess we He's uncomfortably quiet. So you get Parame Kahoga Hunkyamida. Uncomfortably quiet over here. Looks like they've largely just gone down the other side. This is gonna be bad. No! Leave her alone! You foul demon! Oh, big dodge. Ryan Anne does not have much of a blocking currently, so there's a lot of issues to be had here. Right, how she's gonna have to get involved? Yeah, they have us so heavily out healthed here. But that's your best hit. You have to just use mines, I guess. Man, this is bad. Bingo! I'm probably not gonna. What a shot! I'm probably not gonna be able to outbeat them, but I might be able to outscore them here, and I think that's gonna be our best bet here. Oh, good God! Well, first look here at um, here's the suppressive fire doing its work. Good shot. There's eyes here there. I think almost down the left side. Oh, a good dodge from Anne. Very impressive. Bingo. Yeah, bear in mind again, Anne, uh, Irene does not have um, counter attack or anything like that. Ah, damn, I've been stunned. But Anne can fix that. Problem is, Anne is losing time on all these heals, however. Gotta be careful of that. I need to get her out of there. I gotta get you up here. I've gotta get height bonus going. There we go. Alright, now we're in business. Uh, let's get chain fire going. And let's just get shooting. So here's our first look at um, at Tyron here. Level 56. 
Try and go for someone out. Jack has got how much? You've got how much? What a shot. Ooh, sophistry. That's right, we're taking on these old folks so we can get hold of some interesting things. Okay, very nice. Uh, that is def um, that is ability to defense. I think that's a new one. Um, what can we do with this? Anything? Or do I just get you overwatching? I think we just get you overwatching. Right. Hmm, you don't actually have a great, um, you can snatch. Breakthrough means you avoid their blocks, which is great for Gary, because that's all he does, so. Take him down here. Brazen face. That is ability to attack. Oh, damn darkness, Hunter. This isn't going to work. Unconditionally avoids everything. Nothing I can do about it. Ow. Alright, we got the base at least. So that's good. So we'll start accruing some points, which is nice. That one's also claimed. It's going to give health, but there's not much health to give here. There's pink, there's pink horns. It's going to be bad. Yes. That literally would have one-shot killed her. And the Charm of Silver saved it. My god. This drone's not doing too great. The only thing that's good is it's going to be hard for them to occupy that base because the fact that there's a lot of fighting going on. So we can definitely try to interrupt that if need be. Let's flank Pinkhorn here. Pinkhorn's got charisma. Yikes. Good dodge. You don't... Wow, you got range to that? What a hit. I did not think you could see that. Very impressive. I think I'd rather you sliding on you here. Kind of unsure. Don't really want to go anywhere near him. Little, little scary. not much better, is it, though? I can't actually do that to him? Huh. Just slide. Sliding. I locked it all anyway. <laughs> yeah, my correct response. Just great. He comes to suppress the fight. Good hit. He's down. Oh, he blocks it. Impressive. Mm, yeah. And going down. That is and defeated. That is our healer gone. That is going to give Irene immediate action, and she's going to be very upset. With ah, here we are. So rejo rejoin request. So we have to trigger it ourselves. Um, so every fall in front of unit regroups to a target location, um, but we can only use it once per mission. So we have to kind of time when we want to use that. Makes sense. Right, well, you're all going to pay for that. Wait, how much percentage? Wow, well, at least Yavit's down. Or Ivan. Really? Battle cry. That's not annoying at all. I don't know how much useful I can be from here. Probably a bit. What's the... I don't want to go for him. This one's got lots of block. And I'm sure going to hit... Twinkle Jack, as always, is just really hard to hit. Oh, 
건 피할 수 없을 걸. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. Ingo. Oh, what a shot! Good job, team. Oh, and there's the regroup. Oh God. So they only get to do that once. So yeah, they get re they get their turn. Their reunited allies can start their turn right away. Um, but of course, you only get to do it once. You've got a time. When is the best time to do it? If everyone gets defeated, that's it. It's all over. We are probably going to have to do some regrouping here. Yeah, all these turns are coming in. This is, this is really bad. Our drone's dead. If not more. You know that. Immediate berserk. Yikes. Some of that didn't take it out. Our dudes are surrounded. This is very awkward. I can't get up there either. I need to stay by Irene, really. I got one. It's probably about average. Right. I should probably get Giselle away from here so that I can use the ladder for other things. It's probably a reasonable thing to do. I think Asia will be beaten. Wow, you got some serious percentages on these on these folks. Just in a mind, that's why. Just healing and concealing. He is locked in, of course. <laughs> yeah, he is down. Steel helmet. Just immune headshots. That's not bad. Be a mistake. Please don't eat me. What the hell was that sound? You hear that? Uh, no blade storm. Please hurt. Uh, all these shots can't do anything. It's taking our time. Just automatically happening. Ow. And at least the drone is distracting them. Because the overwhelm shot was for free. So at least it's it's taking some of their time. So I guess there's that. I wonder if this might actually proc uh, for Stallman if I land this. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. That was a savage hit. Very nice. Um, you could do some health. Let's uh, let's give that man some health. Mono PB, Kata. Oh, give him peace as well. Nice. I think that's a, a buff that we've got on our on our thing. PB, stop. Wow. No. Definitely a far tougher fight than the, the um, VHPD. But again, the one downside is that these guys have virtually no range. And that is something that we are managing to take advantage of here, which is very good. Very much needed as well. Get a wood chop here? Can. Get a few wood chops, actually. Oh, 
그러게 도망쳤어야지. 놀라운데. We're following the points, which is good. We are definitely outscoring. Drone's going to do something and then be destroyed. Scout drone did not do great. Not gonna lie. Oh, web. That ain't right. These hit percentages, man, are dire. Come on, hang on, kick. Is that landed? Do a bon mug up. Get in, kill, catch you. Didn't I get you a linda? Pibi, so many reaction fires, and they're all doing ah, nothing. That's a weird on go. Oof, don't you got this quick shaving? I missed. Look at them occupying. Oh, look at that, what he's done to our, our teammates. Good block. We're getting contracted. Well, well, she just cleared everything because Irene is the absolute best of this. Getting contracted, getting made inferior by freaking Twinkle Jack. Damn. Gonna go for a snatch attack here, I reckon. Well, he can't block it. So it fails, but he now takes cover and all that stuff again. Man, it's a bit chaotic over here, isn't it? There's a lot happening. That do you think so? Eighty-eight percent. Ah, uh, take what you can get. You gonna pay us off, sir? Bingo! What a shot! I was very impressive. Leave me, Mozi. Oh no! They're creeping on my main base. You scumbags! I can't allow that. I don't know if I can do anything about it, truth be told. I might be able to stall with Kylie, though. So when you're taking any base, remember it takes a lot longer to do it. It takes 90 units instead of the normal 30, so... I might actually be able to um, create some entertainment here. I don't think we need a drone. Let's see, have it over there. Ivan, or whoever it was. We don't want to stand on any of that stuff. What the heck have we got? Oh, yeah, amplification. Grass, my bad. <laughs> yeah, just blocking so much. Ow! Well, Irene's very upset at that. Pressure? What even is that? It's an aura thing. Block and dodge down by 10%. That's, uh... That's kind of not pleasant. I don't have any abilities. So I haven't had time to recover effectively. It's kind of funny. Sod it. Just keep going to war with Twinkle Jack. God, doing so little damage. Losing hygiene, though, pretty bad. Trying to cover, it's not working. It's just got so much block. How you got a crit, I don't know. Oof. Remember, the charm has been used. I just missed. 
This gives more fire supports, and they're all swings. Another huge hit from Giselle here. Taking full advantage of position. Very good stuff, this. Right, we cannot allow you to do what you're about to do here. Don't think I've actually started, but it doesn't matter. We got the crit in anyway. I'm a genius. <laughs> Twinkle Jack, that is rude. How dare you just do that in my face? Ow. 750. There are there are a lot of problems here. No Anne either. I might call in the uh, the reinforcements here. Thinking about it. Oh, an idea. I've got a perfect plan. We're going to use the Illusion of Rage here on Gary. And what this does is he gets recognized as enemies by everyone. Alright. That is going to be fun here. So he is, um, he is now, rec he is no friends. Try and take advantage of that. I think you should be able to take out Twinkle Jack here. Good block. Wait, how did he block? I thought he... Oh, his, um, his ability is overrode. Okay. Standing alone. Engaging combat with no ally within six tiles. That's pretty good. Eventually, they might believe that. Ow. Yeah. That was that was nasty. Right, we are going to call in the rejoins here. Uh, we cannot use the north as it's already been used. Interesting. And that was a thing. Uh, I will take the east side, please. All right. You only get that once, of course. Wait, how? What was that percentage? Damn. Alright, and Maybe I should have taken the other side for healing. Oh well, we're here now. How are you guys pressured? You just got back! What's going on? <laughs> I do reckon some of these fights will be actually it's fighting vendetta. Oof. Oof. That is um, That is kinda scary. <sighs> That's annoying. Oh, it because of cover. Look at all these um, auto things hitting here. Freaking. This hunter is so annoying. Well, at least the healing was done, so I guess that's nice. Right, Elisa can't target Yavert, so this will have to suffice, I suspect. Can you thrust hit him from there? No, you don't have that much range. Okay, that's good to know. Damn. <laughs> I love her voice lines, they're great. <sighs> Should be able to take out Yama here. Should be in the upper word. Oh yeah. Big hit. <sighs> huh. Oh, that was that's a cute trick. That's a very cute trick.
I am not happy about that. I've been freaking blinded. Damn. Oh, is he getting infected by... Oh, well, that is actually getting infe inflicted by inferiority because he's now being targeted as uh, fascinating. I didn't mean that would do that. Let's get some hit chance here. <laughs> wow. Come on. I can't believe they got blocked. That got. Ah. Oh. At least when he tries encounters, well, that worked though. Good job. Man, it has been. It's been a chaotic fight. It's been good times though. Oliver is down. Great Plains. That's a new one, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you're exposed, um, you get extra vigor or rage and AT to productions. That's not bad. It does look like we are going to win this, but a much stiffer contest than the VHP the game, which was always going to be the case. Well, Gary, it's been fun. Goodbye. I didn't realize you just keep linking through all of your moves and do that. That was awesome. Good job. I mean, guys, those practical martial arts. For every common mastery you're using, 20% HP, 0.5% hit chance, and 3% critical damage. That is very good. Justice win! <laughs> as it should. Oh, we actually get the loot from them as well. Nice. I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah, there's going to be some good stuff here. Yeah, level 50 sneakers. Level 50 boots. Wrist guards. Energy potion. Very good. All right, then. Ah, and we do get the information on the people we defeat as well. So that's pretty neat. So we actually get hold of some uh, interesting stuff. All right, that's not what I want. I want to uh, look at uh, mastery sets there. Practical defensive tactics. Uh, just click any random person. No, that's neat. I'm very glad that that is uh, that that is a thing. Uh, if we go to master rewards, Gary. So I should probably go to Irene for this specifically. Not that mastery sets. Um, we should see that somewhere or another. We have access to more of these. I think this is involving some of the stuff we pick up. But yeah, that's really cool. We can actually get hold of some um, some new stuff. Uh, that's really awesome. I'm glad that that's kind of uh, worked itself out here. Practical defensive tactics. There we are then. So um, that uses yeah practical martial arts, which might appear in other ones. We've got this one's now available as well here. This one's available. So, loads of battle mage stuff too. Alright, so I'll have to go through these and like work out these up. But apparently all of these are available for us to find as battle mage. We might find something a bit more suited to Irene here. Um, and I might rework her as well for that matter. Um, so that is super duper cool. I like the mode. I mean, it's fun. I think it's, uh, it's cool that that's a thing. There's more fire stuff here as well. There is so much stuff for us to do. Um, I will need to probably spend some time going back through these lists and... Um, Finding out what new things we have able to us, because we probably have a few. Alright, anyways, I think we'll call that a video then. We've had uh, a lot of fun here. So, what we're going to do next time is... I reckon... What do we want to do next time? I reckon what we'll do next time is we're going to do a bit of a bonus video. 
And I have to call it bonus because technically this is not really anything to do with the main plot line as of now. This is content from the base game. Uh, but we do have a violent mission at the Magenta Street Marketplace to do now. This, I believe, involves the White Tigers. Uh, and I think it involves Fu as well. Um, so if that is the case, I'll have this as a bonus mission. And what we'll do is we'll play this as just uh, not use it. Yeah, it's only eight here, you'll notice. So this is from the pace game. So we'll not have Elisa in. We'll not have Bianca in. Run it with our base slot here. I'll probably jack up the levels as well. Um, and we'll have a load of fun with that. But uh, but yeah, this will be the um, for that there. From then on, I'm not entirely sure what we'll do next. We've got more violent cases to do. Um, we've got to see. Obviously, we'll eventually carry on with the pot line as well. We'll get there eventually. Uh, there is no particular rush. But I think that is going to be basically the plan here. I think that's fairly reasonable. Let's have a look at the um, one last thing for me in the video. Let's identify all those various sneakers and shoes. Let's see if there's anything interesting. There probably is. Ooh. Ooh, yes. we got chasers. Those. Level 50. Plus 8 vigor. Man, look at these. Damage taken from adjacent enemies reduced by 9%. Wow. These give extra vigor. These give extra speed. And we got the boots as well. Uh, waters. Which gives resistance to knockbacks. Wow, so it gives basically massiveness. So you cannot be moved by anything. Which is good because it means you also can't get stunned or anything like that. So that's pretty sweet. Ah. Um, level 50 Moon Guard. If you're attacked by an enemy, they have 15% large chance to crit you. Very cool. Lot of, lot of cool stuff. All right. Very nice. So, yeah, that's what we'll look to do next time. We'll do a bonus video. We'll do uh, the White Tiger mission. Uh, and then... I'm not sure exactly what we'll do. We might do more violent cases. We'll see how we go. But the job this has been fun. What I'll look to do is I'll probably will do more of these um, later on in the in the game. I'll probably do a couple more of them. Uh, I'll see how we go here. I am interested in fighting some of these team fights. I bet some of these are pretty pretty tough. I bet the smugglers isn't easy. Uh, I actually reckon the white the street fight is probably one of the easier groups. Uh, I reckon skulls tricky. Uh, I reckon the dust companions tough, but the real boss fight has got to be. I bet the contracts are also tough. That's like all sorts of stuff here. But man, fighting Vendetta and the Nine Dragons, that's got to be like the hardest fight in the game. We'll save that for another day. I don't reckon these are pretty tough regardless, but... Oh, Alright everyone, so that's going to be it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you've appreciated the video. And we will see you soon for more from Troubleshooter. See you then.